Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be drawing the two chair conformations of uh, cis 4 acetylcyclohexanol, and out of those two we will be determining which one is going to be more stable. So suppose I got the structure of this uh, cis 4 acetylcyclohexanol, where both the OH and the ethyl group is coming out of the page and you may very well could have both of those kind of going back into the page and uh, I can show you that example as well in, in a little bit but let's first focus on drawing this particular one where both the OH and the ethyl group is coming out of the page. So let's go ahead and first draw one of my chairs here. So let's suppose I got this looking like that, get coming here. Okay, and uh, for my own sake, I can go ahead and call this to be one, two, three, four. And on the chair confirmation, I can start it anywhere as long as I go clockwise. So I'm going to start from here, call that one, two, three, four, five, and six. So clearly, I can see on the first one, I got an OH group that's coming out of the page. So I want to go ahead and draw the OH pointed up here. Maybe I can go and change the color there. So the OH I got pointed up, and then going along the line, your methyl, your ethyl group on carbon number four is coming out of the page as well. So the two positions you're going to have on number four, one of them is going to be axial, and the other one is going to be dicotorial. So this is how they're going to um, they look like. So remember, it needs to be pointed up because your ethyl grip is coming out of the page. So since it's coming out of the page, I would have to put that on the equatorial position right there because that particular one is pointed up and your axial here is pointed down. And also keep in mind that both the OH and your met your ethyl group are cis to one another. So originally your OH was pointed up here and you want to make sure your ethyl is also pointed up. So I want to go ahead and take this position out. So this is how it's going to look like. And now I want to go ahead and draw the flipped form of it. So when I flip this, let's see how that's going to look like. Let me go ahead and draw the flipped form of that. So in that case, this is how it's going to look like. Okay, sometimes I draw those better, sometimes I don't draw those better. This one looks a little bit better than the other one I drawn. So then when I flip it, this becomes your one, that's your two, three, four, five, and six. So another way of saying when you're flipping it, this carbon is this right there, and then you can kind of uh, follow, follow it along. And you can clearly see that uh, um, this particular carbon number four right there is going to be at this position now. So that's what the flipping really means. So let me just go ahead and raise that so that it will make it too crowded. Now what ha what's happening here? We got the OH group initially that was on the axial position. So when I flip it, anytime you flip it, your axials become equatorials and your equatorial is going to become axial. So your OH that was initially on the axial position, now it's going to be on the equatorial position. And that's where it's going to be. And then your ethyl group that was on the equatorial position, when I flip it on this carbon number four, it's going to be now on the axial position. That's how it's going to look like. And uh, you can clearly see both of those still are pointed up. So this OH is pointed up and that ethyl group is also pointed up. And that's what it really needs to be because initially both OH and the ethyl group they were one assist to one another and they were also coming out of the page. Now I have both of those structures drawn. The question is out of those two, which one is going to be more stable? And um, the, the answer is going to be whichever group, ha whichever structure has more uh, substituents on the equatorial position. But it turns out I have I got this OH grip on the first confirmation on the axial, and then I got this ethyl grip on this fourth carbon on the first confirmation at the equatorial. And when I look at my second confirmation, the OH now is in the equatorial, and your methyl, your ethyl grip now it's going to be at the axial. 
so that doesn't really help. So in that case, when you have the same number of groups on the equatorial and the axial among the confirmations, then you look for the biggest group needs to be on your equatorial position. And a lot of times, if you do have the biggest group, you want to make sure you have that particular group on the equatorial to begin with. And in this particular case, my first confirmation has this ethyl group on the equatorial. And on the second confirmation, we got this particular OH on the equatorial. So remember, your ethyl group is actually going to be bigger than your OH group. So since this is bigger, you want this to be on the equatorial. And as a result, your first confirmation is going to be more stable. Okay, so now let's try to draw it uh, the other way. What if they are both going back into the page? So I'm going to just copy that down and just make both of those going back into the page. Everything else kind of stays the same. And uh, let me go ahead and draw one chair first. Okay, and I'm going to call this one here, two here, three here, four here, five, and six. And then clearly I can see on the first carbon I got the OH pointed uh, coming back into the page. So I want to go ahead and draw that coming down on this uh, chair confirmation. So that's pointed down. And then on number four, your OH, uh, your methyl group is, uh, sorry, your ethyl group is going back into the page. So that needs to be pointed down as well. So I'll go ahead and draw the ethyl group right here. So remember, your axial position in this particular case is going to be pointed down because remember, your equatorial position here is going to be looking like this. So that would have been pointed up and your axial is pointed down. So you don't want to put your ethyl group on the equatorial position. So I'll go ahead and take that out. Okay, when I flip it, let's say what's going to happen. So when I'm flipping it, um, I'm going to be making a new chair now okay so then this one right there is going to be here on the new chair confirmation it's going to be one here two three four five six and then your four, you can clearly see that has been flipped as well. And when I'm drawing on the first position, I can clearly see the OH is going to be pointed down. So it was on the equatorial in the first confirmation. And now in the second confirmation, it's going to be going down. So it's going to be axial. And then on the number four, it was uh, previously it was on the axial position, but now it's going to be on the equatorial position. So I want to be making it going like this. Because remember, your axial position is going to be right here. That would have been axial, and that's your equatorial. So you don't want to put that on the axial. So let me just go ahead and take that out. So that's how they're going to look like. Now, the difference between um, the first one and the other one is just... Uh, um, you have the OHs and uh, the ethyl group, they're both going up in both of those confirmations. But now in this particular case, both the OH and the ethyl group were actually going down. And that's the only difference. And as far as the stability go, um, you're not really going to have much difference in terms of the stability when I compare the first set and the second set. Because in the first confirmation for the second set, I got this... Uh, OH being on the equatorial, and I got this uh, ethyl group right there being on the uh, axial. And then when I'm looking at my second confirmation, I have the OH now on the axial, and my methyl ethyl group is going to be on your equatorial. So now we can clearly see that your biggest group in the second confirmation is in the equatorial position. So since that's in the equatorial position, your second confirmation in that particular case is going to be more stable. So as far as the stability goes, it doesn't really change. Like in, in the first set, I had 
the confirmation that contains ethyl group on the equatorial to be more stable. The same story with the second set where the ethyl group is still in the equatorial and that particular confirmation is considered more stable. So that doesn't really change. Uh, the only thing that really changes is how they're going to be pointed. And uh, that's all you really have to worry about uh, in, in that particular case. So this is how you're going to be drawing the chair confirmations and uh, trying to figure out which one is going to be more stable. If you have any questions, feel free to leave any comments in the section below.